think when I probably turned seven or eight years old, I, I, it was a point in my life where I, I knew that I wanted to you know, play a sport or be a professional athlete. Uh, I, I wore number seven in Pee Wee football and I played quarterback and everybody used to call me Michael Vick. And so I started watching him and that's when I knew I wanted to play football and play in the NFL. And I got a Michael Vick jersey for Christmas one year and I probably wore it to school every day. You know, growing up in Ohio, it was a dream for me to play for the Buckeyes. You know, and Urban Meyer came there and gave me the opportunity, and it was a great opportunity, you know, for me, and it was close to home. I grew up, you know, from a kid to a, a young man real quick. There was no reason for them not to put me on the field, and they knew that at all times that Jalen was going to be there where he's supposed to be to make the play for the team. Competition at Ohio State, you know, is like no other. It's you know, almost like you're playing in a game every day, just because every time you go out to practice, you're fighting for a spot. They always tell you that they recruit well, you know, they don't lie. And so they always bring in somebody to replace you every year, you know, just like it is in the pros. It's tough work, you know, but like, like they tell us, grind through it, and, and it's the light is at the end of the tunnel. What motivates me to, you know, come out of train every day is that, one, I came out of college early, so I don't have a degree. And I know that if I don't go hard and take everything, you know, at one step at a time, that I'll be right back where I was, you know, with nothing. We do a plyometric to help to strengthen the hips and strengthen the hamstrings and, and, the, and the glutes. So if those muscles are strong and you keep building those up and it you know, works well with your body capacity, then you'll be very explosive. And we do deadlifts too. Deadlifts help a lot, you know, just because you're driving up from the ground, you know, with heavier weight. And once you take that weight away, you, you know, dang near jump through the roof. If I was a scout, like you said, looking at myself, uh, I listen well and you know, I pay attention to details and I ask questions before I put myself in a position to mess up. It's so beautiful out here in San Diego. You know, coming from Ohio, you just want to, you know, sit in the sun and relax and enjoy it. But you get caught looking at the sun, you will be stuck looking at the sun. If I could give it advice to a high school athlete, I would say uh, work hard now, you know, have fun later because a lot of kids, you know, want the, want the nice things and want, you know, I, they want the girls, they want, you know, the, the shoes and all this stuff, but they don't understand that with hard work and with the success, all that stuff comes if that's what you want. To be doing something like this is a dream come true. I mean, you know, I'm fortunate and lucky. Take a deep breath, you know, you'll thank God for the opportunity and, you know, and run. I feel like if I do that, everything will take care of itself.